through you and into this community. So I encourage you to join up with us again next year and just, just keep receiving from God so that you're overflowing enough to give outside of the walls of your church. That's the most important thing. We need to get outside of the walls of our churches and reach into the community. That's where we're going to make the difference. We can make the difference. You are the difference. I am the difference. And, and I'm excited to be a part of this move of God in Flint. Yes. It's not about us. It's about Him. Yes. It's about bringing in that new era here in Flint and, and kicking the devil out. Because I'll tell you what, as we let our light shine, if we take that bushel basket off from our light, that light is going to dispel the darkness in this city. And that's what we need. And I'm excited to be a part of it. October 4th, 2014, Yom Kippur. Also, prayer chain day. Please join us next year. Get your information on the website, www.flintprayerchain.org, or come to one of our planning meetings. We usually have them on the second Monday of the month. At Fuddruckers, you can come out. You can eat a meal with purpose. Because 20% of the cost of your meal comes back to the prayer chain as a donation. So come out and join us. Get energized. Be a part of the planning committee. And just thank you all so much for joining us. I can't say how much I appreciate all the effort that went into this. You don't know how much work this lady did behind the scenes. Unbelievable. She's a dynamo, and I think you all know a lot about her. But... Boy, she really can bring it, can't she? Yeah. So give it up for yeah. Evangelist Geneva. Praise God. So did y'all get enough to eat? Yeah. Praise God. No. No? <laughs> There's some more food over there. Help yourself. Amen. Praise God. Get, go for second. Isn't there some food over there, Leah? Yeah. Second, third, till it's all gone. I'm going to ask uh, Pastor Burrell, is he still here? Yeah. He left, okay. Uh, Minister Rock, uh, Pastor Bizzo and Mrs. Bizzo, uh, my husband was telling about a gentleman needed prayer. What's his name? Pa oh, Mr. Banks? Did you need prayer for your eyes? Okay, could you pray for him, please? Come up, Mr. Banks. Praise God. We want our own to be prayed for. Amen. Did you? What's wrong? Praise God. Here you go. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. We just ask everyone to extend a hand by faith. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father God in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we come to you, Lord of God, with the word of God. You said in Isaiah 53 and 5, you will wound and find grandgress in the chest time of the peace world of all your mind strike. We are here. Father, we come to you with the eyes right now, glory to God. Let these hands be your hand. We touch, anoint the eyes in the name of Jesus. We touch it from the crown of the head to the soul of feet, dear Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus right now over this life, glory to God. Father, you heal them, glory to God. You said, glory to God, heal them the children bread. You said, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God. You said, I am the God that healeth thee, glory to God. I thank you right now, dear Lord. Glory be to God that you hear from Calvary, glory to God. That Jesus died, glory to God. He died, glory to God. He for you, glory to God. That we may all have the right to the decree of life. I thank you right now, dear Lord. Brothers, man, dear Lord. We pray the name, dear Lord, that his life never be the same again. Let him know that somebody Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. <laughs> you good. Oh. Praise God. Uh, next, we're going to help yourself with the food, but we're going to bring the chauffeur player up. Amen. Uh, Pastor Earl Fisher. Give him a hand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like my wife to come up too. Praise God. She's from, uh, I just got married in January. She's from Jamaica. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah, praise God. I thank you for this uh, world of Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, I believe that, that when God does something, he does something great. I believe that, that we've been doing works, and I know she's been doing it about 19 years now. And I can see the work of God in it, but now I'm seeing greater works. And I'm telling you, all this excitement, the bike ride, and the people jumping and worshiping God, that was a celebration, yes. you know? And I believe one day we should video that, and we can let Jerusalem and the people all over all over the country of the United States see in that prayer chain. Yes. We are doing something so positive that a lot of churches do, don't do this. Because one thing we have, we got love doing it. And plus, we got the anointing of God. So I thank y'all. And next year, we're going to, we're going to look for something better and greater. In the name of Jesus. And, and thank you. And I'd like my wife to say something, too. Thank you. Wow. I just want to greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, we're not here to preach. I know a lot of you might be wondering, how come this man of God had to leave your country and go all the way to Jamaica <laughs> to find a wife. But although the word says the man that finds a wife finds a good thing, after he make a confession, he did not find me. God found me. So, I am here on a mission, and I tell everyone that my mission in this country is not just to be married to a man of God, and I don't call him a man of God, I call him a God-man, because that's who he represents to me in my life. I'm here for the work that God has called me to do to help him, to help, be a helpmate for him, a helpmate to stand in the work that he does here in Flint, Michigan, Amen. and all over the world, Mexico, and we hope to go to India. Because whatever I did in Jamaica, I, I see myself as Jabez. He just broadened my borders. The same work he does here, that's what I do in Jamaica. I, I was called for that, to reach to the poor, to reach to the rejected, to reach to those who seem to have no hope. There's three people, people who say they're mad, but in my eyes they were never mad. They're just people who gave up hope and, and didn't know Jesus. And so that's what I did in Jamaica. I worked with young people, I, I, I mentor them, I'm in the process of, of building a home for girls because I still maintain my ministry in Jamaica because it is God who told me to do it and the work is not finished. So I see myself as coming here as Joseph for Jamaica. I'm a Joseph for Jamaica, but I am also a helpmate for Flint, Michigan, for my husband to go wherever the Lord sends us to go, to do and help Geneva Spears to do the work that she's doing, that God has called her to do, and help us all working together to accomplish the work that God has called us to do. And that is our purpose, really. I tell people I have no dreams, I have no plans. My life is done. When I tell people my life is finished, they just couldn't understand. But truly, I don't have any desires, I don't have any dreams, I don't have any ambition for me. I'm serious. I didn't even want a husband. I was so sold out to God. 
I said, he's my husband. And so I wasn't looking for a husband. But God. But God. He knew the plan. And his word said, there are not plans to hurt us, but to give us hope. And so we have great hope that the work that God has called us to do, he will help us and empower us to accomplish it. Uh, this was a blessing to share with you because today when he was coming he said, oh my God, I had to marry a fit wife running around with me like this. I said, but guess what? This is what I love. I enjoy it. This is my life. So I'm having fun doing what I'm doing for the Lord. So I, it's a pleasure meeting you all and God bless you and God bless you. Thank you for having us. And so, you know, I have a miracle. My brother, I was talking to him. And uh, I was walking along, and when I was, I grabbed him, and we started talking, he says, there's somebody left some keys down there. And I, he said, yours? I said, no, my keys is in my hand. He said, well, somebody going to be mad. Uh, they, they lose their keys. And then I looked again. I said, wait a minute. Them is my keys. I had some keys that I've been looking for for six to seven months. I couldn't even find my keys. There's the witness, Brittany. Is there the witness? There's the witness. He saw the keys over there. And I said, man, I said, wait a minute, that's not my key. Wait a minute. They look like my keys. And I got clothes on. Then I showed my other man keys. I said, look, them is my keys. I don't know how they just come out of the sky, man. It was there. When we left there, we went to Rankin Street, and there was a, uh, some people there. We started talking about Jesus, the prayer chain. After a while, we started talking about Jesus, and we got a prayer line. It took us two hours to finish the prayer line. That was people getting delivered, people getting healed. Uh, I mean, it was just like, uh, you know, it was just, it's a prayer chain. <laughs> I, I mean, I haven't saw nothing like it. When God ordained us to do something, I'm going to leave this scripture with everybody. And I want you to pray about this right here. In the Luke chapter 2, verse 52, it says that Jesus increased with wisdom, stature, and favor with God and man. Now, if he grew into increase, and it's good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for us. That we all keep repeating this, that God have increased us the same as Jesus with wisdom, stature, and also favor with God and man. And let the Holy Spirit, whatever he have the purpose in your life, and he was supersized, that he might give you a, a setback to set you up to stand your territory. But guess what? All things work together to good and never love the Lord and call according to his purpose. Let's give Jesus a great big hand. Hallelujah. God bless you.